Hey, y'all. I want to come in and story with a young lady. She's 20 years old. And she have a daughter. And a daughter, three. And uh, she was alleged kidnapped by these people. These strange looking people right here. And uh, if you look at them, look at them. Yeah, one, two, three, four men and three women. It just looked weird. But, uh, yes, they've been arrested for the death of Mahogany Jetson. Okay, let's hear from uh, what the news had to say about it. People all charged with murdering a 20-year-old mother from Jasper. Someone found Mahogany Jackson's body on Monday in Birmingham after she had texted a family member that she had been kidnapped. Our Bria Chapman was at a press conference held by Birmingham police this evening. The chief not mincing his words when discussing this case. Scott Thurman describing the murder of Mahogany Jackson as disgusting and one of the most heinous crimes that he's seen throughout his career. And not only was Jackson shot and killed, she was also sexually assaulted by multiple people. Now there are seven people under arrest facing charges for felony and capital murder and also kidnapping. And Chief Thurman says all of the suspects were acquaintances of the victim. And not only was she tortured to death, some of these horrific acts were recorded by those suspects. The facts of this case are deplorable and sickening. Saddest of all, they were made public by the suspect's decision to videotape portions of this horrific act. We hope to shield Mahogany's family and friends by withholding specific facts surrounding the investigation. However, we have determined that Mahogany was a victim of sexual assault with murder and kidnapping. There's videos of some of these heinous acts taking place. That's something that led, uh, was a typical piece of the investigation. And with seven arrests in 48 hours, Chief Scott Thurman is commending the people of Birmingham, saying that you all answered the call. And now these suspects will await their day in court while Jackson's family prepares to lay her to rest. And they'll also honor her life tomorrow night with a vigil. Reporting. Promising a major update in this case tied to arrests and a motive. Well, Bria Chapman is live and on your side now after talking with Jackson's mother this afternoon. That had to be a hard conversation, Bria. Yeah, that's right, Sarah. So as you can imagine, she is devastated over losing her daughter. And all of this happening in such a brutal way makes that loss even harder. Now, she didn't want to go on camera, but Gail Mad Maddox tells me she cannot understand why something like this had to happen to her child. And she says she's heartbroken for her family, especially Jackson's three-year-old daughter, Nadia. Now, she posted on social media this morning messages from her daughter from Sunday morning where she was telling her family her location and asking them to get to her as fast as they can. Now, unfortunately, they were not able to say her, but Birmingham police tell me those messages have played a major role in solving this case. Now, Birmingham police were holding six people in connection to the case, but they can only do that for 48 hours without charging them. Now, two of those people are no longer listed as being in custody, so we're asking if they've been released or officially charged. Now, we've been told the suspects are either friends or acquaintances of Jackson, and we expect them to be charged with capital murder. Now, again, this is a lot of developing information, but as we learn more, we'll be sure to keep you updated. Who are these strange people to Mahogany? How did she know them? Did they go to school together? Did they hang together? They just look rough, unless they just look rough on this on these pictures why did they do this to her she know them she used to date one of them or something or she told on them or what what happened seven people all charged with murdering a 20 year old mother from jasper someone found mahogany jackson's body on monday in birmingham after she had texted a family member that she had been kidnapped. Our Bria Chapman was at a press conference held by Birmingham police this evening. The chief not mincing his words when discussing this case. 
Scott Thurman describing the murder of Mahogany Jackson as disgusting and one of the most heinous crimes that he's seen throughout his career. And not only was Jackson shot and killed, she was also sexually assaulted by multiple people. Now there are seven people under arrest Let's facing charges for felony and murder and also kidnapping. And Chief Thurman says all of the suspects were acquaintances of the victim. And not only was she tortured to death, some of these horrific acts were recorded by those suspects. The facts of this case are deplorable and sickening. Saddest of all, they were made public by the suspect who sued to videotape portions of this horrific act. We hope to shield Mahogany's family and friends by withholding specific facts surrounding the investigation. However, we have determined that Mahogany was the victim of sexual assault, with murder, and kidnapping. And there's videos of some of these heinous acts taking place, and that's something that led uh, was a pivotal piece of the investigation. And with seven arrests in 48 hours, Chief Scott Thurman is commending the people of Birmingham, saying that you all answered the call, and now these suspects will await their day in court while Jackson's family prepares to lay her to rest, and they'll also honor her life tomorrow. not been officially charged but we expect that to happen soon and they're looking at some pretty serious charges bria chapman is live and on your side with what we know right now bria yeah morgan so the biggest news we learned today is also the saddest now Birmingham police say this was not a random act of violence in fact they say that they believe mahogany jackson knew her killers even referring to the Let's be in. Custody, some of those as her friends now, Birmingham police also telling me that the text Jackson sent her mother, letting her know she was in danger, has played a significant role in this case. Now, Jackson was reported missing late Sunday night, and was she was found dead on 17th Street Southwest in Laurel Avenue. Why they treat her like that? Suffering from a gunshot wound. Now, six people are being killed right now, and we expect them to be charged with capital murder. Now, this case is a capital murder case because sources say Jackson was kidnapped before being murdered. Now, Birmingham police say they expect to have a significant update in this case pretty soon. And you'll never see a like me doing is arguing with one of you hoes. Because you want to know why? I don't know how to argue. I'm going to run out of shit to say. As soon as I stutter, I'm going to smack the shit at you. So, I don't know what to say. You got me stuttering, hoe, and I'm going to smack the fuck at you because you got me looking dumb. Okay, so if y'all still look at me, maybe. Okay, um, I just want to fight this other bitch for real, real. And I don't think I'm a bitch, she. So, <sighs> here we go. West. BPD tells us they don't have any information from neighbors about hearing gunshots, so they are unsure where the shooting happened. Jackson was last seen Sunday morning and reported missing last night.